I welcome you to our meeting. Today I would like to tell you about our school, to tell you a little about the books we use in our study, because you very often ask the question, so where should I actually start from? This is the main and the most important question that arises when we pursue and begin to master any subject. And such a subject as magic requires an answer to this question at the very, very beginning. We assume that you have come here in order to apprehend the great art of magic with already a clear understanding of why you need it. And having honestly, without any deceit, answered this question for yourself, have decided to walk this path. To walk this path to the end, no matter what is expecting you along this path, no matter what awaits you, hides around the corner, scares you or pleases you. I recommend that my students take this first step by reading literature to help them understand the structure of the studies. Not the structure of magic itself, because understanding its structure is pretty difficult as it is a multi-leveled and complicated system, but taking the first step should be done with an understanding of the vector, of the direction where you're moving towards. This book was written for this purpose. Your humble servant, meaning me, wrote this book titled Intricacies of Fate or What Dimension Do You Live In? This book will help you to find your place in life, it will help you to understand your individual level of perceiving reality and based on that to take the right actions in order to expand that level of perception. Not to change it, colleagues, no, but to expand it. This book corresponds to the first main course of my school. This book describes the basics and the fundamentals, such as, for example, the structure of the human consciousness, what it consists of, and whether it is possible to distinguish certain separate segments and work with these segments, or whether one should work with the consciousness as a whole without dividing it into different parts. The answer is provided in this book. This book describes the world construct and world conception from a magical point of view. This is a different view of reality, which will allow you to look at yourself from a slightly different point of view, since you are nothing but a part, an integral part of this reality, which means that your consciousness contains absolutely everything that is present in the surrounding world. Another thing is that each person will interpret this reality in his own way. If the interpretation is wide and broad, then a person will have a lot of opportunities and abilities. But if it is narrow, one-sided, limited, and shaded in black and white, one will also get exactly the same results in life. This book is written for those who would like to follow the first path and acquire abilities of the primary magical plan, that is, the broad view of the world, the ability to keep in one's consciousness multiple tools to comprehend and control reality, thereby moving closer to a magical state of consciousness. But most importantly, this book contains methods and practices for heightening one's sensitivity and as a result the achievement of a very important state, which is considered a zero state or a baseline state in magic. This is the so-called base state I am as I am. This is a state of absolute zeroing of one's attitude towards the world. When there is no attitude towards the world, and there is only an attitude towards oneself, and this attitude does not depend on the outside world, but solely on you. And if you happen to catch this baseline point, then no reality could change your self-esteem or your natural abilities, or force you to restrict them just because someone doesn't like it, or it makes someone uncomfortable. The base state I am as I am can benefit you without causing harm to anyone. This is why it is so valuable. That's why it is used in magic as the primary baseline zero state. As a matter of fact, the title already contains the task that you will solve in the process of reading and mastering the practices presented in this book. The world is a multi-leveled system. It consists of many dimensions. The rightness of your path depends on the understanding of your starting position. That is, the dimension which you live in.
In fact, the metric that you use for measuring the surrounding reality defines everything in your life, everything in your destiny. Your environment, your interactions, and your success or failure rate are determined precisely by this metric. By properly identifying your starting positions, you can avoid many mistakes and recover from a great number of ailments, which, as a rule, always form as a consequence of one's incorrect positioning meaning by an incorrect definition of one's place in this life. A person either underestimates himself or overestimates himself. In both cases, he does things that are unacceptable in the given dimension to be healthy, to achieve a success and to get all those life pleasures that in general are a must for a person in this world. Meaning that he possesses all of them, has a right to them all, but cannot use this right because he chooses the wrong tools in acquiring the same nice things. Therefore, the first step is to identify your starting position, the point of reference. Once it is determined, it becomes much easier to identify the vector of further movement, the pace of movement in magical development, the important milestones that need to be reached, and the milestones that you don't have to reach, since everything is very individual. In order to understand oneself, one's starting positions, one's possibilities and as of yet impossibilities, I recommend all my students to begin their study with this very book, Intricacies of Fate or What Dimension Do You Live In? All other books follow this one in terms of the development of abilities. But we always start from the fundamentals. They all are built on this basis, the basal state I am as I am. We devote a lot of time to its assimilation and comprehension, because the basis, the foundation, must be strong and created by your own self and in no case be borrowed from someone else. You will have to pay a high price for what you have borrowed, but what you have achieved yourself belongs to you and you alone and possesses the value that you set for it. This book is written for you, the beginners on this path, because I know for myself how difficult it is to take the first step. But if you do it right, everything else becomes slightly easier, more interesting and more fun. And most importantly, the results are developing at a geometric progress rate. I wish you success on this path. Thank you, colleagues, and until we meet again.